Okay, there's like some metal clips here. This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. I don't need no man to open this box for me. Do I have to get some treats out for you? All right, quick recap. If you watched my last vlog, then you guys know that I left off unboxing this guitar right here, and that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. It is an electric guitar, that's what you guys know so far, and it is from PRS, which the people at PRS, if you're watching this, thank you so much, and thank you for being patient with me because I know that it has taken, uh, staying me a hot minute to uh, unbox this guitar because I obviously wanted to do it on camera, and I just didn't have the space for guitars in my room for them to be safe. I'm finally getting to it. And uh, I have my little assistant here, Thomas. He's going to be helping me with, um, he loves boxes. And I figured you guys loved him in my last unboxing video. So I thought I would include him in this one too. And he's just kind of like, let me down right now because you know nothing's happening with the box so far so i need to start unboxing it and i'm gonna change this battery because it's about to die all right we got a fresh battery we're good to go let's get this unboxing started so we got our box cutter here honestly this just has like flaps i can open up just gonna okay there's like some metal clips here this isn't gonna be as easy as i thought need no man to open this box for me. Ooh, gotta be careful. There's like these metal spikes on this thing, like right here. Ouch. Just move it to the side. Here we go. Here we go. Why isn't it popping? It's the imposter bubble wrap. I'm trying to move this so you guys can see. Thomas, actually, I don't think I want you to play with this box. It's kind of dangerous. So the gig bag says Paul Reed Smith, and obviously that's what PRS stands for. I actually met PRS at GitCon in Germany. I was talking to Jean, and she is so sweet. And she answered all of my questions about the electric guitar, and I just... I had just different questions about, like, the hardware and just, like, the technical stuff about it, and she was just super helpful. And she said this guitar was still sitting in her office from GitCon and that she was just like, you know, nothing's going on with it right now. Do you want me to send it to you to use in some videos and play around with it? And I'm like, sure, let's do it. Ooh. I've already seen this guitar before, but it's just been a while. So this is a PRS model S2 standard 24. So it has 24 frets. It has a satiny finish, which I thought was really cool because it's just not your typical glossy electric guitar. There's some sheen to it. It's a very thin coating of the finish that they put on there. What it allows is for you to see like all of the wood grain, which is really cool. So you can still see all of the texture. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can even feel it too when it's just really cool. I mean, what can we say about this guitar so far? It's red, bold, it's edgy. I actually played this in a few videos at GitCon. Uh, one of them I did with GuitarGate and he posted a video that we did together. He gave me a guitar lesson, which I'm going to actually link down below in the description box and I'll just insert a little clip here. Real quick feature, GG coming at ya. I just realized while editing this video that you are currently watching that I did not in fact um, use the S2 standard 24 in the video that I did with Mike from GuitarGate. I actually forgot that I swapped it out before filming that video with the Zebrawood model, which I don't know the exact name of the model of that guitar, but it is this gorgeous guitar made out of Zebrawood. That guitar basically caught my eye before filming that video and I was just like, yes, you coming with me. And um, that's how that happened. But even though this guitar is not featured in that video, I'm still gonna throw you guys to the clip because I think it is a very beneficial video for any of you that might be in the same boat as me learning lead on electric guitar or just learning lead guitar in general. It's a very, very helpful lesson. I found it to be very insightful. Mike's a great guy. And the guitar that I'm playing in that video is worth checking out. It is beautiful, it's made of zebra wood. So if you go to the PRS website, just type in like zebra wood guitar you'll probably find it it's beautiful yeah however I did use this guitar in a couple of other videos that I filmed at GitCon so I did a lesson with Chris and he taught me some really cool just 
awesome electric guitar tips basically how to get more out of your electric guitar and you know not using like other gear or anything just solely the guitar itself that was really cool so that'll be up in the near future and then i also did a video with tc electronics trying out some pedals and that was a lot of fun so be on the lookout for those videos they do feature the s2 standard 24. so without further ado here is a clip of mike giving me an awesome guitar lesson and then we will get back to regular programming with this beautiful thing Howdy ladies and gentlemen, Michael here again from Guitargate and we're out here at the famous Warwick factory for GitCon 2018 in Mark Neukirchen, Germany. And I'm here with Michelle, known as the Guitar Goddess Hi. On, on YouTube and Instagram and across <laughs> all the social channels. Yeah. So have you been playing guitar your whole life? Is this a new thing? Not my whole life, no. Like, no, no. What's, your, what's your guitar story? Um, okay, I'm more of a rhythm bass player. Right. You know, and I'm you know, primarily play acoustic. So I want to just try something new and yeah. challenge myself and, and learn and, and grow and yeah. yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. So now I'm going to play the same thing. Okay. Same basic chord structure and do the same exact thing. Just try okay. to try to make a simple melody. Okay. All right, here we go. That was the five chord. <laughs> So if you'd like to see the rest of that video, it is on Michael's channel, Guitar Gate. And shout out to Michael. He is seriously one of the nicest guys. And I appreciate the guitar lesson that you gave Michael if you're watching this video. And it was great meeting you at GitCon. That was so fun. And he pushed me, which was so cool. And he was so nice about it too, because he's very knowledgeable. But he just broke things down in a way that just made it just really easy to follow. And he challenged me a little bit. And so that was really, really cool. Um, GitCon was a huge learning experience for me, by the way. I was just really open and honest with people about where I was on guitar, and a lot of people had actually seen my series, and so, um, so many people were just so helpful and inspiring. Oh my gosh, I was just like re-inspired when I went to GitCon. I'm still working on all of my GitCon content. You guys know if you've been watching a lot of my recent vlogs, I'm just behind on so many of my videos. I have stuff that I just, I need to edit and it's just, it's a lot of work. All right, so I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod here and we're going to get going. Got a tuner because I'm probably going to need that <laughs> unless it somehow just managed to just stay in tune this entire time. Still learning all these settings and everything. So I'm working on Are You Mine by the Arctic Monkeys. Uh, if you guys watched my last vlog, I was playing it on Rocksmith. So I'm working on that main riff. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's been since October. I haven't played this guitar since October. I was just playing my Dean Playmate earlier. What a world of a difference. Like, this is easier to play. This neck and the fretboard, like, and the strings, everything just feels so good. And, like, the bridge feels so comfortable to, like, put my palm over. <laughs> Playing this thing, it feels so... I want to say like it feels buttery smooth to play. It just feels easy. It feels so much easier. I mean, I'm not hating on my Dean Playmate. I freaking love my Dean Playmate. It's my first ever guitar and I'm always going to have it in my collection. But I have to say, PRS feels really good. And especially because I can feel the immediate difference because I just got done playing that one and now I'm playing this one. <laughs> If you remember from my last vlog, this is my trouble spot right now. 
because there's like a couple hammer-ons. <laughs> to get my hands on some pedals and build a pedal board because I was trying out pedals at Summer Nam Get Con and I am already obsessed. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's unboxing video. I'm so excited about practicing on the S2 Standard 24. This thing is amazing. I'll be able to update you guys, you know, as I play more on it and kind of let you know because I like I said, I don't know everything there is to know about electric guitars and I'm still just kind of like learning my way through them and um, so I can't really just like, I can't tell you too much about it other than it feels awesome to play. Like so far it just feels very comfortable for me and that to me is one of the most important factors about a guitar is is it comfortable to play? That's like the number one thing. Obviously like, yes, I want it to look cool and all that kind of stuff, that's fun. But is it comfortable to play and do I like how it sounds? And then obviously, you know, we all want a guitar that looks really cool because I mean, let's just get real. That's a pretty damn good looking guitar. So is my Dean Playmate. I mean, come on. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and thank you to PRS again for sending me this awesome guitar to practice on. You guys are going to be seeing this guitar in a lot more videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but it'll be soon. All right, bye guys.